Do you guys hate these thingies? Because they suck. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Jen. So for today's long-awaited, very late video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I bought at the BTS Muster Magic Shop in Seoul. You guys already saw the vlog, so you kind of know everything that happened, but here is the thing that was holding me down the whole time, everything that I literally lost my mind for. I'm gonna show you everything that I bought and got, because I got a lot of freebies too. It's fun to look back at my shopping bag from this day because that was the day that I literally went YOLO 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 YA yeah, where my money at? Because afterwards my wallet did actually ask me where the money at? So before I even start with muster stuff, I came home and I got this package in the mail. BTS World Limited Edition album. I don't know what about this makes it so special, but I thought that I would open it for real like on camera. This thing is huge. I think it's gonna be bigger than army zip. This is the box. It's lovely and huge and pink and hollow. Hello, Christine. I've been watching a lot of Simply Nail Logical and Jenna Marbles lately. I'm sorry if that reflects on my personality. <laughs> Honestly though, why is this so big? Where am I gonna put this on my shelf? I cleared out a whole shelf so I can display all of my albums, DVDs, fan membership zips. I really don't know where to put this. Oh, it's actually like a nice purple to pink gradient on the back. Oh, I just got a pink and it looks really like epic inside, okay. Ooh. So we have the BTS World album. They give you magnets, I believe. And this is from their like another storyline. I mainly wanted this because I put so many hours into the game. I really needed that like validation that they really needed me to help them debut. <laughs> It's like a card case that's nice and clear and iridescent. My manager ID card. And then it also has this little keychain that says BTS World on it. You also get a lanyard and it's just like a little pink faux leather braided material. Cause you gotta be wearing that stuff around when BTS are debuting on end countdown. <laughs> they give you a ticket for 30 wings. Thanks. <laughs> so basically your daily check-in. Then you get some photo cards and this is like the heartbeat video screen right here. These are like really thick plastic photo cards. On the back it has a writing and it says Tashi no Chajikoya Unyong Chorong. Which is a lyric from Heartbeat because I've been learning that song and I sing it at karaoke a lot. And then we have Detective Kim Nam Joon. This is the back of Nam Joon's hotelier Kim Sok Jin. And then this is the back pianist Yoongi. And the back is literally so creative, guys. It says piano. Wow, this picture, like, it doesn't look like him. He looks so sweet and, like, wholesome. <laughs> August D. Who? Veterinary student Jung Ho Sok. And this is the back. Patissier or Doc Master Jimin. What do you want to do? Farmer Kim Tae Young. Back just says. Miyane. <laughs> and then last we have Taekwondo athlete John Jong Cook. Then Kenyang. And then lastly we just have the BTS World album. I already own this, like the regular one, but I'll open it again just to see what photo cards I get. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Was the disc always like in there? I thought the disc came on a separate plate. Oh yay, 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 yay! So for the PJ photo card, I got Namjoon. In the game, I will be able to unlock Namjoon's PJ outfit. And then, yay, I got the Yoongi photo card, which is great because y'all know I love this man. <laughs> oh, last thing I just want to mention about this like limited edition pack, it really makes it seem like I was on some kind of PR list. Am I right? Oh, some kind of PR list, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, on to the actual video. As per usual with BTS events, they always give you this reusable bag that says whatever the event is. Um, I'm sorry, they don't give it to you, but you have to buy it, and I think it's a pretty good investment. We're gonna start in chronological order, so first I'm gonna show you guys the like official documents that I got as part of being an actual muster attendee, and then I'm going to show you guys the different freebies I got at different booths, and then also the like exclusive BTS stuff that each of the booths gave me. Let us begin with this. As you guys saw in my muster vlog, this is the passport that we use to like go around and get all the stamps. So this is my completed passport. And then this is just the like map that they give you. This is like what the play zone looked like. And then it has a little timetable for everything. Most of the activities had an English title or if they were written in Hangul, it was just like Golden Bell Quiz. Golden Bell Quiz. Here is the official BTS merch. And from the official merch, I got the mustard towel, 
on the back it just says so and this actually came in pretty handy because <laughs> your girl was sweating so I gotta like dab a little bit everywhere in Korea for like concerts and stuff whenever they sell water bottles they're always frozen so I didn't want to have to hold the water bottle and I didn't want the condensation to get on all my stuff so I just wrapped it in this towel also everybody was just wearing it like this outside because the Sun was just really hot and then the next thing that I got is this this is the picnic mat as you can see I literally haven't even opened these so we're just gonna like open them on camera together I guess I always see these like really cute picnic mats and I think picnics are like such a cute thing to do but um I don't have anyone to go on a picnic with but let's say on the off chance that I do go on a picnic then I can have a picnic mat it comes in this little dust bag and then oh my god this is like literally so cute guys it just comes in a little pvc bag and then the actual picnic mat is actually a really nice material but it's like not it doesn't scream bts or anything it's just a nice like navy blue star mat and this is like how big it is i think it's good to sit like two people or you can just put all of your food on the mat and then sit around the mat which i think is what it's intended for then i got the tote bag and initially i didn't really want to get this but korea made me really like using tote bags and stuff am i a visco girl now oh my god so this is what the tote bag looks like and it's kind of the same polyester material is it reversible i'm not sure but the outside is gray wait it might wait i'm so confused this looks like like the outside because this is how they gave it to me but it actually might be the inside because I think you do it like this because all the seams are on this side which I think is kind of weird so maybe it is reversible you know maybe this blue is the outside maybe you were supposed to turn it around because <laughs> it says magic shop at the bottom so I think you're supposed to wear it like this but yeah this is what it looks like <laughs> That was weird. I don't know why they would do that. The next thing I got is the Magic Shop scarf. It looks like a CD, to be honest. It just says Magic Shop on the front. Very minimalistic, very simple. I love that. Oh, it like opens up like this. And then the inside packaging has the little shooting stars on it. Here is... Oh, whoa, this is weird. So I thought it would be like a bandana, but it's literally just a scarf to wear around your neck. I've never seen this kind of thing in my life, but I mean, whatever, it's BTS, so it's okay. <laughs> and then the official mustard t-shirt, I just got it in the white color and I got it in the navy color. It's such a simple design that I was like really torn about which color I should get, so I just decided to get both of them. I'm so here for those like really minimalistic designs. I got a medium, so it's like quite big. All it has on the front is this little shooting star design and then on the back the back neck it just says magic shop and then in the bottom corner it just has a little tag thing with all the members names on it and then on the opposite bottom side it just has like the army and bts logos there's bts and there's army the next official item that i got is the magic shop keychain and i just thought that this was really cute because it's like very subtle and everything and it's just the magic shop little store sign from like the world that they portrayed and everything and then it has a number two because i went to the soul show and soul is number two if you went to busan then you got number one so i guess next i will show you guys my wristband this is just like your average music festival wristband and it had the little bead where you can like adjust it but you can't take it off i wanted to preserve the actual wristband without cutting it so i just literally broke off the plastic thing the wristband says june 23rd fifth muster 2019 magic shop bts so like i showed in the vlog when you can completed all the things on the passport you got this fan and then you also got these photo cards so I know some other people on YouTube like your army friend who I love watching have also shown the like photo cards and stuff so first there is a transparent sticker that says magic shop both Busan and Seoul actually got different cards all these cards are a matte cardstock so first you get a group picture I think this is the same for both locations and then you get another group picture and they're all holding letter balloons that say some kind of message so for Seoul they said goodbye and I think for Busan they said like see you later or something like that and then it has individual cards of each member holding a letter of like the phrase V is holding G and then on the back it just has a handwritten verse of magic shop that the member themselves wrote then Jimin has O and here's his handwriting Hobi had another O and here's his handwriting. His handwriting is so hard to read, right? Yoongi's handwriting is the hardest out of all the members to read, in my opinion. I can literally never understand what he's saying. Jungkook had B, and here's his handwriting. 
Namjoon had Y, and Namjoon, I think, is one of the members that has the most legible handwriting. Jin had E, also has one of the most legible handwritings of the group. Okay, so while we're still like outside before going into the play zone, this is like where the majority of the things that I actually bought were. So first, I went to the BT21 booth, and they had just like regular BT21 line friends merch and things. They just all said magic shop on them. I wasn't planning on getting anything, but I found this pouch really, really cute. And in Korea, like PVC things, are like kind of a trend. This is just like a little pouch. I thought I could keep change or like girly things or something in here. It's just a canvas bag and then on the outside it just has like a PVC so I got Mung. And then on the back as well with everything that they sold at the magic shop, it just says magic shop. Oh lord, here we go. So next, there was a pop-up shop for Studio 8. That is the company that made all the phone cases that you guys saw in my muster vlog. And let me tell you guys, I did buy a lot of them. The case that I have on my phone currently is one of my Magic Shop cases, so I guess I'll show you that one first. And ignore the grip talk. I added that, but I mean like, it's still BT21, so I guess that's fine. But this is what my case that I currently have on my phone looks like. It's just pink and it has Mang at the bottom dressed in an office going to work outfit. And then it just says Magic Shop in the top corner in the same style as the case I currently use for my phone right now I also got it in Shooky and Koya and I thought those were just like really cute colors to have on your phone especially the Koya one this blue is just such a pretty color so this is a card pocket bumper case as they call it it just has mong on it and it has a little case for your card it's like not too thick and it's not too thin so it's definitely gonna protect your phone and then I also really like how this case just has like a kind of leather card holder and it seems like it would be very snug so that's a good thing next I have these two cases and these ones are just your clear average like PVC kind of case this was like their hello line, I'll call it that, because they had a bunch of like different countries. They had like America, Korea, France, Brazil, all these different countries. And it just says hello in that language. And it has the BT21 members dressed in that country's kind of garb. So I got the American hello one and they're dressed in really cute hoodie, hot dogs, Statue of Liberty, skateboard, like hip hop stuff. They're just dressed in like really comfortable clothes because I guess that's like how America is for like comfortable in hoodies all the time. And then I also just got the Korea one just because now Korea holds a very important place in my heart. This one just says annyeonghaseyo and it has all the BT21 members in traditional Joseon dynasty outfits. I'm really gonna try and take care of these cases because my problem with cases and like the reason why I always have to switch my cases is because just putting in my pants pocket or just like wherever the edges always get dirty. Even this one's starting to get dirty. I should probably change it soon. Last thing from the Studio 8 phone accessory thing, I got two BT21 tempered glass. I didn't really explain this well in the vlog because I was really distracted but basically what this is, it is is a tempered glass screen protector but the fun thing about this in Asia or Korea these new things have been popping up where basically like I have it on my phone right now it's not BT21 but I just ordered this from some weird like Instagram shop so basically you have a design etched into the glass and then when your phone is on you can't see the design right when it's locked and the screen is black see where the light is you can kind of see the design so I'm a head ass and mine says supreme but then when I turn my phone on you can't see it so I don't even know. I've never seen these things in America. I ordered this screen protector like a month before muster even happened. And so I kind of knew like the concept, right? But then when I saw that they were selling it, I was like, yo, I got to hop on this. But as you can see here, I got Chimmy and Ma. That place gave me a fan. I got so many fans at this event. It's crazy. Okay guys, so starting at the different booths, first I went to LG booth and I got these two different photo cards. So first I got this one and it's a group picture. Then I also got individual photo cards. So a lot of you guys said that I picked the Yoongi one, but actually it's all the members. Yoongi just happened to be on the top. Here is Yoongi. And then we have Jungkook. And then we have Jin. We have Hoseok, Namjoon, V, Jimin, and back to Yoongi. Moving on to Muddy Heel, firstly I got this thing and I guess supposed to be a fan, but really I just used it as a sun blocker. This one I used to fan myself. And this is how I waited in line for two hours at every station at the play zone. <laughs> All they really gave me were these, and these are like the Bio Capsulin Love Me Toning Masks. I'm not entirely sure what these are, but I saw Edward Avila try these because of the hype and the fact that BTS had their own like special packaging of a three pack variety thing of this type of mask or whatever. And it was like literally crazy in Korea and it sold out in like three hours or something like that. Moving on to the Canon booth. I kind of showed you guys in the vlog, but I'll still show 
show you guys this anyway. This is like the picture that I took and they print it out and they give you like a special frame. Let's talk about the flow booth. I've never heard of this flow before. They gave me this clear fan and I think they were just like so tired at the booth that instead of making me like download the app or do whatever I had to do, they literally just like gave my entire group the prizes and then we got this like little sweatband thing. But it has these like weird beads in it. I've never seen this before. Why are there beads in it? But it just says flow and then it just says magic shop. If you guys like know this concept, like please explain it to me. They also gave us like some stickers. These are just like flow stickers. They're not really BTS stickers. So I don't really find the need to show them. That is it for Flo. Next at the Latte Duty Free booth, I told you guys that they had some kind of like photo booth thing, but there was a line that was like pretty long and then they decided to cut it off, I think because they ran out of photo paper or like something was happening. So instead of that, they just made the line go by really, really quickly and gave us like a handful of free things. So the first thing I got is this gold premium modeling mask by the brand Shane Pre. This is like a legit freebie, you guys. Latte Duty Free does not play around. They're gold, you guys. Like. I'm sorry, but what other celebrity gives you guys gold freebies? I don't know, man. BTS, y'all really killing the game. And then they gave me a bunch of samples of these, like 20 of them, and they were all individually wrapped. So during my break time, I just like consolidated to fit it all. But they're just like these little serum things by Dr. G. 10,000 won, which is $10 of Latte Duty Free cash, and it has BTS on it. <laughs> all right, thanks BTS. Thanks Latte Duty Free. Something else that's really cool that Latte Duty Free gave me is this notepad set, which I really highly doubt that I will ever use because it says BTS. And then what's even better, mm, it has the BTS Latte Duty Free like advertising thing. And these are the notes. There's a member on each note. You can see like the different chunks. The members aren't alternating. It's just like all V, all Namjoon, all Jungkook. Members all at a time and it's not like every single page is alternating, which I would have liked because now I'm like, well, when I'm using Namjoon, I'm just sad that I don't have any more V. You know what I mean? Question, when you guys have merch like this, like stationery or stickers and stuff, do you guys actually use it or are you like afraid of using it because then you won't have it forever? <laughs> Maybe I'm just crazy. That's probably it. Lotte Duty Free also gave us some Leaders Correcting Concealer. Judging from the color on the box, I feel like this might not be my color. Number three tan. Oh mama, it's dark. <laughs> Look at how dark this shit is. It is like not my color. But I mean like, hey leaders, thanks for like the skin inclusion thing that a lot of Korean makeup doesn't have. I will give it to them. This color does match exactly what is on the box. 10 points for accuracy if you know what I mean. This is my BTS studio picture that I took with Suga. I saw someone post on Twitter the outfit Suga wore because she went like the day before. And so I was really happy that she posted that on Twitter so that I could see what he was wearing and I could like kind of try and coordinate because I didn't want to show up baddie if he was wearing something casual. And we kind of match. Like you gotta, you gotta give it to me. We kind of match. Love yourself, didn't give me anything but this pamphlet but I mean like I'll keep it because it has BTS in it. <laughs> the last few things they're not like anything that I bought they were just like things that they give to you so first off this like banner thingy do not expose the event on social media before the concert begins hold up your banner when army time appears on the screen have a great time smiley face I don't remember if there was actual army time because I was really looking on the screen for those each show had a different thing mine is like Alice in Wonderland, Teapots, and Gingerbread Men. As I was leaving, I got this little sticker. And it's basically a black and white image of the Magic Shop set. And as I was leaving, somebody dropped there. So I now have two. <laughs> Last things that I will show you guys are things that I got like from fans, I guess. While we were waiting outside, some fan gave these Jungkook stickers. And it just says, Jungkook is my young one. Jungkook is my forever. But she had a lot and she gave me like four. So I thought that was really nice. And then I have... This Jimin fan. On the back it says Jimin as well. Hashtag Jimin ni wa hamke kagi. Going with Jimin. Fun short story time that was like really weird. Something that happened like at muster. This girl next to me, she's like a Jimin fan. This was her fan. It was weird because the first half of the show she was just like on her phone the whole time. And I was like, girl, do you know how exclusive this event is? Do you know how like limited and like competitive and just like getting tickets to this event is? And here you are just sitting on your phone. Like what is going on? Middle of the show, I don't remember exactly what part, but it was definitely before the segment of the show that was literally just like song after song after song. She just like literally left to the bathroom for like a solid 15 minutes. Well, like I'm assuming the bathroom. I'm not really sure. She like left all of her stuff there. And then when she came back, she just grabbed all of her stuff and like ran back out. So I was just like, 
girl, like, are you okay? Are you good? I hope everything's okay with you. And so it was just weird to me that she was on her phone the whole time and then she literally just like left muster before it got really lit with all the performances. The little drawstring dust bag that your army bomb comes with, she left that and she also left this Jimin fan. There's like me and then there's the girl that was very confusing and then there's like another fan, right? The other fan who was like Korean, she looked at me and I guess she just like knew that I was a foreigner because like, I don't look Korean guys. She just told me like, oh, like you can have it. Like th these can be for you. And I thought that was really sweet because you know, you see on Twitter and all these things like these fan wars between K armies and I armies. And you know, when it comes down to it, a lot of them are actually just really nice and they're happy that you also give love and support their boys and like protect them overseas and stuff like that. So it was really sweet of her to let me have it. And that was my story. I hope that girl is okay. I make it seem like it's a joke because it sounded like really bizarre, but in actuality, it could be like some family emergency happened. So I really hope that everything's okay with her. I feel really bad that she didn't get to like enjoy the show. Yeah, so with that story time concluded, I will leave you with this tip because I didn't know about this until after I got back from Korea. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> this isn't like an actual fact, but it's just like put in my words. BTS are basically the the face of Seoul. <laughs> Seoul has like an I Seoul you type campaign where it like helps bring tourism and stuff like that. And BTS are kind of like the face of that. They're on all like the advertisements. Other groups have done it too, but I think at the moment it's just BTS. So they have this thing called a Discover Seoul Pass. And if you are visiting Seoul for like a short amount of time and you want to do a lot of like cool touristy things, I recommend getting this. I didn't do this any of the times I went to Seoul because the touristy things that I did, I didn't do it all in one day. I kind of like spread them out. But if you have a very short time and you want to do it all in one day then I do recommend getting this a city pass for foreigners you can just go around Seoul and either get discounts on a lot of things to do or you can do it for free I know this card gives you access to the city bikes for free so you can just like ride around the city on a bike if you want to or like by the Hong Kong or something it's nice and hollow and it says BTS edition you get the city card and I wanted it because it had BTS on it and that's pretty much the only reason why I wanted this but also it's hollow and this card works as a T money card I believe they also give you a little map and it literally has BTS on it so I mean like quite why wouldn't you want it? Hello. And they give you a little photo card that I think is really cute. You don't have to get it, but if you're ever in Seoul and you want to get it, then I mean, it's $30 and you also get a lot of benefits if you actually use it. So with that, I will conclude this long ass video. And again, like always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.